Hello guys, welcome to a tutorial video. Now, one thing I've been trying to look up in that annoyed me was how to download StarCraft 2 on Linux. There's not a clear, consistent, um, uh, way to do it. But, one thing I learned was just how to download it and make it run good. So, the most obvious one, use this if you have a really high-end computer, is use Lutris. With Lutris, you can run a lot of stuff on it, and highly used. That works on 64-bit operating systems. Now, I'm running 32-bit, which is not working with Lutris. So, how do you do this? How do you make Falmet work really well. Well, in the video description, if you want to follow along this guide, I have a link to what to use for 32-bit. So, before you do this, you're going to need to download Wine Staging. Now, you're going to be asking, what about stuff like Linux Mint, Fedora, or other OS? You are going to need to figure out how to download uh, wine staging and not stable staging because or else this won't work so now you download wine staging you just gotta input these commands on Ubuntu uh, you gotta configure it now if you just want a good old command of wine cfg This is gonna load. Um, there we go. So, you're gonna want your default settings to Windows 10, and then you're gonna want to get in the staging tab. This is only on line staging, not on base line. You're gonna want to click this, you're gonna make sure these top four are checked. Do not enable this. And for libraries, you're going to need to find this top one. Actually, you can. You're gonna need D3D LL and D3D compiler for 47. Now, you're also gonna to want to find location API and disable it. This should find a override. So, once you find this, disable it. Hit apply right here, then OK. We did that so we can um, run uh, Valnet or else we get an error message. Now, we gotta tweak it with line tricks. So, I'm going to copy this, or else I get a weird error message that I'd be seeing. So, we're going to... Here's the error message. Oh, I know that's on it. Okay. Sorry, I hit the wrong thing. You're going to run... You're going to want to run... Line tricks. Now, one thing, I'm once it gets an error, you already get this too, where you're running a 64 bit line prefix, it might pop up on you. But, you're going to want to click select the default line prefix, and then install a font. Now, these are all selected. But you're going to want to select this one, Core Fonts, and then hit Download. I already have downloaded, so I'm not going to do it. And then you're going to also want to do Install Windows DLL or Component, which we're looking for Bellamy separately, or else it's going to have trouble. IE8, and then you're good. So this is Internet Explorer 8. Now if anything fail on you, 
Um, just keep doing it. Oh, that just itself. Now, once you got that downloaded, um, you should, if you go to File Explorer here, I should have set that up earlier, um, you can run the, uh, StarCraft 2 setup. Or, Valvet. I don't know why I specifically said StarCraft 2 setup, but just run Valvet. So, mine's already downloaded. So, we're gonna run this with Wide Windows Program Loader, which would pop up once you get everything correctly. Now, Warhounds Boot. A problem with the newest Valorant update is it it made so the operating system could not find a specific file. So, go to my second link, uh, head over to, not all OS have this, but head over to this file, actually, platforms. Now, you're going to want to right click it, and then open a terminal, where you get this. Now, run this command, which... I have it in my description, which will lead to this part of the um, post, and run this command. Because if you did everything right, you did error, and it'll say error is in blank. Basically, because you can't find a specific file. So you're gonna run this command, which again will be in my description. If not, um, here's some marks helping you find it. But once you run that, and then, yep. Now, we're just with 32 bit operating systems because things are slow when you use these uh, 32 bit operating systems. Like, the StarCraft would just run at like 5 FPS. Not good. But yeah, that's the tutorial. Um, any problems, you might want to look at yourself, but, yeah. That's basically it. The Tori video, again, two both the links in the description, and once you get this done, you should be able to load everything. Uh, make sure you always use Wine Windows Program Loader. I've used Mint, so it shows up as a red box. Other than that, just know the basic things of getting wine stable, or no, staging. Getting wine staging is how you can set this all up. Then, you can do the rest from there. Leave a like this video for more tutorials on how to download stuff. See you next video.